Today I'm going to be building a Bloxburg house, except this spinner is going to determine how many items go in each room of the house. For example, in this spinning wheel we have numbers 1 through 50. And whatever the number lands on, it's how many items we have to place in the room. And the numbers range anywhere from 1 all the way to 50 items. So let's get started. Okay, this is my little layout of the house. We're going with a modern contemporary look or beachy house. I actually do not know. So I think um, we might as well start off with the front yard because that's technically a room, right? I don't know. Okay, for the front yard, the amount of items we can place in the front yard is... Oh, oh no. I thought it was going to be one. <gasps> Five? Okay, right. Well, I guess we can remove five from the list, which means five is no longer on the spinning wheel. This is going to be the most simple front yard I think I've ever done in my life. Wait, does a floor count as like an item? Surely not, right? All right, well, I guess we can maybe do a carpet. I want a little front yard here so we can have like one, two, three. God, if this looks stupid, um, it wasn't me. Okay, that's three. We need two more items. Um, <laughs> what about a tree? Oh yeah, actually. Um, okay, four. And then we just need one more item. You know what I'm thinking? A basic shape. And you're probably like, um, what are you going to do with a basic shape? I'm going to use a vertical cylinder and place it underneath the tree. Also, guys, my avatar. Look at her. She's glitching. Girl, are you good? Okay, I'm just going to ignore her. Yeah, I'm just going to place a little cylinder and make this like a dirt patch. See, I feel like that kind of looks good. Well, that is our front yard done with our literally five items. Embarrassing. Now, the next thing we can do is the entryway. Oh, gosh. Oh, 25? Question mark? Okay, 25 items. Noted. 25 items in an entryway. Okay, well, there's a lot of things we can do with that. This is stressing me out. Because every single time I have to play something, I've got to count in my head. But I'm like dyslexic so <laughs> when i count three i'm like wait was that seven okay wait how many items was that see this is what i mean one two three four four items babe five six seven eight some structure to the entryway eight items and what else do we need oh we need a hook rack duh can you imagine an entryway without a hook rack girl you know what i'm just gonna not count i'm just gonna place items and then once i'm done with the entryway then i will count how many items there is in here okay see aren't i just like so smart okay, what's we need a modern ottoman oh an armchair in the entry who is that person uh, excuse me who is this i swear sometimes i'm not kidding but when i leave it open i forget to close the neighborhood so the next day when i come onto my neighborhood there'll be like 50 people on and i'll just be filming <laughs> and i feel bad kicking you let you guys watch me build wait how many items were we allowed to put in here 25 right we won't go over that oh a welcome mat there you know what i'm gonna do just type up entryway and do whatever the first thing that pops up this oh damn okay that's a little bit too extravagant but they got these really cool pot plants so i might as well do that hopefully if i have enough items all i'm gonna say is that if for the kitchen or the bathroom i get one item i'm gonna scream another uh, goal of mine this year is to use more textures that i haven't used before because i feel like in my build i typically go for like the same textures and the same colors all the time and i want to spice this up so i think that's the entryway so we'll count how many items this is oh that's only 17 items which means we only need eight more items. I'm thinking a nice chandelier. Okay, seven more items. What else? What else? Oh, okay. I got it. Oak shelves with books. Okay, what was that? Six, five... Four, three, two, one. And just like that, mademoiselle, that is our 25 item entryway. Very nice. Okay, next room. Oh, I should probably let you know what's going on in this house, by the way. So we got entryway, living room, kitchen. I'm gonna cutely knock down this room. <laughs> Dining room. To the left, we have the bathroom and then my bedroom. So it's a very small one bedroom house. Nothing too fancy, but you know what? It's fine. So we're making this the dining table. So items for the dining table. I'm scared. <laughs> I don't know why I'm scared. Oh, oh damn, it's in the 40s. Yo, wait, that is way too many. 43 items for the dining room. How am I gonna make this out of 43 items? That is like too many. I feel like with this challenge, we're either gonna have way too many or way too less. Like the front yard, we could have had more items in here. This is gonna be the most fancy friggin' dining table I've ever done in my life. Question though, the people actually use their dining tables? Because when I'm over some of my friends' houses, some of them will use their dining tables and some of them will not. Okay, I just sort of like the most 
most brilliant idea. Now, I could just place one single dining table. Boom, done, one item. But if we wanna like use up all the items, we can use basic shapes and make a custom made dining table. Genius. Right, I've only placed down five items so far. Ooh, that cube, that's gonna be six. You know, we fancy little risen table, seven. But then with the chairs, that's going to be eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Oh yeah, we're not even halfway through. <laughs> No, it's okay. We can easily do this. I don't even know why I'm like stressing out. Okay, that was 15 items. But with these placemats, right? That's 16. I'm thinking a plate, a bowl, fork, spoon, which makes that 20 items. And each placemat is five items each. So that means, wait guys, what does that mean? Oh my God, I'm awful at this. Wait, wait. 17, all right? 17 plus five. 22, 27. Wait, this is actually gonna work. 31, 36, 41. Oh my God, wait. Wait, that's kind of perfect. 41 items, which means we have one item left in that will be a chandelier. Hello. Oh my God, when my plans actually work. <gasps> Shocker. Okay, I cannot believe I'm gonna say this, but guys, we don't have enough furniture in this dining room. <laughs> you know what? I might actually get rid of a few of these placemats. Don't kill me. Don't kill me, okay? Listen, I'm indecisive. All right, that's 42 items, which means 37, 32. Oh, you know what? I'm actually gonna get rid of all these placemats. I can't believe I'm doing this. Who is dancing in my front yard? Did you see that person? Okay, we're back to 16 items. I know, I don't wanna talk about it. The reason I'm deleting all the items on the table is because I feel like we need more furniture in here. Like this back wall, for example, is very empty. I feel like a painting would look nice. Mix with two wall lamps to really brighten it up, as well as some plants at the back here. Okay, I'm gonna count 20. I keep talking too much and then I forget how many items that I put down. <laughs> well, duh. Okay, we've got 20 items so far, okay? Okay, 21, 22, 23. And then to decorate the table, maybe we'll use some vases instead. 24, 25. Okay, now I'm back to the what on earth do I add in here? <laughs> okay, we've got 25 items. What if we place a wall, right? 26, 27. I have an idea, I just don't know if it's gonna work. I'm sure openings count as items, right? I don't know if that was 28 or 29. Uh, um, <laughs> I feel like that confused woman. Okay, 27. I'm gonna hope it's 27. If it's not, then that is awkward. And then 28. We can even get some fancy pillars, make that 29. Okay, we're pretty close to hitting the mark. We might just need some more paintings back here. It's like 30, 31. I feel like I'm counting this so inaccurately. Okay, we've got 30 items which means we need another 12 items to be done with this room. So I'm just going to be the most smartest person ever. And see these good old trusty pillars? I'm gonna add them at the back here because that counts as an item, ha ha ha. So 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37 and then some neon horizontal lights 38 39 40 41 and 42 and finally that is our 42 item dining room all complete so i think the next room i want to work on is the living room which is actually going to go back here so the amount of items in the living room is going to be oh no no <laughs> nine items oh my gosh i'd be lucky to even place down a couch this is going to be the most basic living room i think i've ever done in my life you're basic. No, it's okay. We can make this work. How about we place everything we need down first? So I'll start off with the lounges. I think the safest thing to do is use this large stylish sofa. Because that way we can literally just place one of them right here. Which means we then got eight items left. And I mean, every living room needs a fireplace. Even though I don't have a fireplace, but it's okay. Seven more items left. Mate, my heart's going pitter patter, pitter patter. Six, five, four, three, two. And for our last item, you know what? I'm thinking a painting stand right here. Boom. All right, and that is our very, very detailed living room. <laughs> You know what? It's got everything we need and that's, that's all that matters, right? The only thing that bothers me is the fact that we can't change the pillows and we can't add any blankets, but that's okay. Moving on to the kitchen. Let's go! So the kitchen's going to be relatively small. It's gonna be in this space here. So the amount of items we have to use in the kitchen is going to be, <laughs> you're joking. 10 items? Is this a prank? We have to be very careful with what we place. I'm gonna place down everything we need and then we're gonna decorate it. So, right, that's nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three. And then with the last three items, we'll just use cabinets. I think this is generally one of the fastest kitchens I have ever built in Bloxburg. And for the two last items in the kitchen, I think we're just gonna place stools by the island bench. And then that is our kitchen. <laughs> 
Okay, hold on. What if I paint it? Maybe it'll look better if I paint it. Oh my gosh, you know what this house is reminding me of? You know Brookhaven? <laughs> the houses from Brookhaven or Berry Avenue. I feel like all those houses look identical and that's what it's kind of giving. This house is giving Brookhaven vibes. Okay, don't hate me if you're a Brookhaven fan, okay? Don't kill me. I remember once I uh, dissed Brookhaven houses. I think I called them basic and someone left a very, very detailed hate comment how they were unsubscribing because they loved Brookhaven and they were very upset that I uh, upset their game. I'm sorry, okay? But there is one thing about me. There is plenty of things I will do on this channel but lying? I ain't gonna lie. If I don't like something, I'm gonna say. The Brookhaven developers watching this video are like, uh -huh, girl, you're banned. Okay, so this is our kitchen. It's not too bad. It's just basic, which makes it bad. I hate it. Okay, Derek, so I don't know what this little section here is, but it's bothering me that it's just empty. These two people here, they've been dancing this entire time. Look at these two. I wish I was enthusiastic like them. Anyway, I don't know what this section's called. I'm just gonna leave it empty. And the next thing we can work on is my bathroom. So the amount of items in the bathroom is going to be, oh, 21. Can you do something for me? 21. Okay. Easy Peasy, lemon squeezy. I'm gonna do a little game. I'm gonna type up green bathroom on Pinterest and do the first item that comes up. Boom, this photo right here, that's what we're doing. We have 21 items. So it looks like they had green tiles at the back here and they cut this section off. That's kind of what I do. Well, duh. Also guys, I experienced the most traumatic thing this morning. It's not even funny. So I was going outside to feed my doggies as I usually do in the morning when I seen a little baby lizard. And it was sun baking in the sun. It was so cute. So I just left it. I fed my dogs and then I came back and I was like, you know what? I'm just gonna, I'm gonna go check on the lizard real quick. Y'all, the biggest redback spider caught the lizard and trapped it in its web. And I was traumatized. It was wiggling around. I'm like, oh my gosh, that is something I did not want to say. I know people are like, don't interfere with mother nature and its course. But like when a lizard is getting tortured by a spider, I feel like I have to intervene here. I feel like a villain if I don't. You know what I haven't used in ages? I used to be obsessed with these things. Yeah, we're going to have an insert on the wall. So then this way we can place all of our soaps. Oh my God, guys, I keep forgetting that I've got to count how many items I'm placing down. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight. Okay, that was only eight items. We're going good. We're going good. We've only placed down eight items and we can place down 21. In that case, I might leave that for the shower and move on to the sink. All right, ready? Nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15 items. And then for the toilet. Okay, I found my new technique, guys. This is the game plan. I'm going to count every single item I place down, right? And then once I fill up the entire room, then we will color it. 17, 18, 19, 20. And the last item darling is going to be a toiletry bag 21 okay perfect that is our very very basic bathroom i guess that doesn't have any curtains love that for me <laughs> privacy what's that okay so lastly we just have to paint everything and that my darling is the bathroom you know what i just realized <laughs> The lighting in here sucks. It's so dark in here. Oh my gosh. Okie dokie. Last room. It's my bedroom. Please be something big. I want something big. The amount of items in our bedroom is going to be. Please be like 50. Please be 50. No. I want 50. <laughs> 14 items in my bedroom. Well, that sucks. I wanted to have a very detailed closet. So apparently we can't have that. Tripping, bro. You tripping. Well then, for our closet, I guess we'll just put drawers stacked up to one another. All right, just by adding those three closets, we now have 11 items left. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. <laughs> that is our room. <laughs> Oh, it's so basic. It literally just looks like a basic starter bedroom. Like we, don't get me wrong, we have everything we need. However, like where's the flavor in this? There's no flavor in the bedroom. Where's the flavor in this? Like y'all cannot sit here and tell me this doesn't look like something right out of Brookhaven. Alaska Haven, that's what I'm gonna call it. Also, the thing with these pillows, right? Now, usually when I place down pillows, to make it so much easier for me, I'll place down two pillows and then I will use the transform tool and hide them and then place another two pillows on top. This time I couldn't do that. So I have to use the transform tool and kind of measure these pillows out so they're on the bed properly, which is very annoying. But hopefully the bigger we make the pillows, the better it will look. Spoiler alert, that did not help. Okay, hear me out. Tiles for the bed. I don't know why, it just makes the bed look nice and clean. <gasps> Someone said, Alaska, your blanket is sticking out the window. <laughs> um, oh my god, it is. Stop. Disappointed! 
This pains me because we didn't even have enough items to have like a bedside table lamp or any furniture on the desk. You know what? We're going to have pink clothes today. I'm feeling like a Barbie. Okay, so that is our house all complete and the total comes to $58,000. Okay, so the first uh, quote unquote room we have is technically the front yard. And for the front yard, we only had five items. Alaska. Yes, ma'am. So coming inside. Ay, ay, ay. We have the front entry. I don't remember how many items are in here, but uh, I think we made it work, honestly. And then to the right here, we have my personal favorite, which is the dining room. And the reason this is my personal favorite is because it had the most items. I think we had 42 items in this dining room and it turned out quite lovely. I don't know, every time I do a house tour, I turn British. Alaska, I have a question. No, I'm kidding. Why would you say that? And then over here, we have the living room. Um, I think this was only 11 or 9 items in this living room. Clearly, there's no flavor in it. The only good thing about this living room is the Bob Ross photo. That is all. We don't make mistakes. We have happy accidents. And then over here, we have the kitchen. You know what? I'm kind of embarrassed because um, these three people don't know what I'm doing. And they probably think I'm just a really bad builder. <laughs> Except for the kitchen, we only had like, I think it was 15 items. I don't know. So yeah, this is the kitchen. We then have the bathroom over here. Most basic bathroom known. Oh, oh I'm sorry. Um, This is a bit awkward. Anyway, yeah, this is the kitchen. Huh? I meant, <laughs> this is the bathroom. It sucks. I hate it. And we didn't have enough items to add light so uh disqualify and the last room we have is my bedroom it's giving brookhaven it's giving basic at the same time it's also giving clean like i feel like if i walked into this room i would feel very clean and i feel like i would smell like a vanilla beans so yeah this is cute no it's not babe don't lie so yeah that was me building a box bag house but a wheel determines how many items are in each room hope you guys enjoyed today's video and i'll see you in the next one bye